I have posted numerous videos that highlight my 1 to 29 scale live steam USRA 060 locomotive. But what is the USRA? The United States Railway Administration was formed to standardize and supply various locomotives to handle the increased traffic brought about by mobilization during World War I. Canada took on some USRA engines as well. The USRA designs were used again during World War II, the newer locos having some slight modifications. You can still ride behind a World War II USRA 060 at Heritage Park in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. The engine at Heritage Park has the extended pilot for the optional pilot wheels to fit underneath, which were never added to this engine. It also pulls the optional short tender. The last time I was at Heritage Park, the engine just had a component fail and was being cooled for repair. The firebox was still very hot to the touch. Here is the loco. This little cap comes off of there and oil gets put in there and it slowly drips down through to that tube you see there onto the slide, the valve slide, to lubricate that. There's a lubricator here too. And every time the locomotive stopped at a station, uh, the engineer would get out and go around and add more oil and lubricate. And that's the business of driving a steam train is constant lubrication. There's a lubrication point there, lubrication points in here. Fun. Uh, you don't often get to look under the frames. So this is the frame of the locomotive. All in there. All the bits under the boiler. Boiler above. And the running gear and the frame below. And there's the firebox. My AML, or American Mainline, by AccuCraft, is an excellent runner and puller, and steams very well. It is the World War I version with the shorter pilot beam. It also does not carry a cow catcher and models the longer tender. What now follows are some of the better snippets of this engine from past videos, plus a bit of Henry and Marge. They appear in a few past videos as well. This represents the longest train I've ever attempted to pull. Just walks away with it. Now, forward and turn the gas up a little. So we'll need it for the extra weight. Here we go. Time to blow it down. So we open up that and blow down the boiler. Well, my 
Marge. Here goes that Terry again, on and on about that engine. He just never stops talking about that USRA 060. I know, Henry, I know. And if only he'd stop doing that long enough to put some windows in the coaches in the Garden Planter Railway, we wouldn't be so freezing every time we're out there. I know what you mean, Marge. I know what you mean. I've been threatening to write a letter to the management. Well, don't just be talking about it. Get on that, Henry. Get on it. I will, Marge. But first, I have to see the steamer go by. Oh, Henry. I was worried for nothing. The engine hasn't stopped at all on the grade. I could probably even turn the gas down a bit. That's pretty good running on four foot diameter curves. Up the 4% grade. live steam at its finest. I hope you enjoyed my very brief explanation of what USRA means and the connection of my small live steamer to the real one in Calgary.